I know that you don't think you're going to live to be 30, much less 40, but you are and you will. And the earlier you get in the game, the better life you're going to have. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press. Now listen to me. A lot of people you meet in life will talk it. A lot of people talk about what they want to do and how they want to get four points. And I laugh because when we do AOP or when we do open house and the students come from Detroit, Flint, Saginaw, and we say, you know, what kind of grades? Everybody and their mama write a 4.0. I know that you don't think you're going to live to be 30, much less 40, but you are and you will. And the earlier you get in the game, the better life you're going to have. Healthier, wealthier, stronger, smarter, better. And if you're an old man like me, and you haven't gotten on track yet, get on track. Get on it now. Here's the deal. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Fight. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press, press on, and fight with everything you have. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. So many people have given up so much of themselves. They have disconnected themselves from the reality that they are unique, that they are special, that they are blessed with this life. Life is beautiful. And you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can because it will not last forever. Fight that ticking clock with everything you got. So, at the end of a hard day, put your head down. Satisfy the path, the war path, path of war. Moving toward a battle. Fight towards war. The actual war against our nation's enemies or the war against my own weaknesses. Preparing sharpening my sword and honing my skills and maintaining the unmitigated daily discipline in all things. If you're holding on to stress, disconnect it. If you're holding on to fear, disconnect it. If you're holding on to sorrows, if you're holding on to weakness, disconnect it. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. But that doesn't mean that you can't get out and resonate yourself. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Don't try to fix others. Focus on your opportunities. Focus on who you are as an individual. You can't save the world. But you can definitely make a difference. Stuff will start coming. Something said, call your mama. You used to talk about your mother on the air all the time. Ask her to say a few words for you. That'll be a different kind of political spot. So I called my mama. And I had a, a, a gospel record playing in the background. And then I had my mother say, hello, this is Mrs. Mamie Brown. When I raised my sons, I raised them to be good children. When they got out of hand, I beat them behind and made them go right. Please vote for my son. He's a good boy.
Usually in a state representative race, maybe three or 4,000 people will come out to vote in a primary. In that primary race, over 27,000 people came out and voted and said, I'm voting for Les Brown because his mama said he's a good boy. Okay. Now listen to me, a lot of people you meet in life will talk it. A lot of people talk about what they want to do and how they want to get four points and I laugh because when we do AOP or when we do open house and the students come from Detroit, Flint, Saginaw and we say, you know, what kind of grades? Everybody and their mama write a 4.0. I ain't never seen a student write, I'm going to get a 2.0 in math. Everybody do the 3.5, 4.0. But the reality is, at the end of the first semester, when we get the grades back, very few kids get 4.0s. Very few get 3.5s. I never see anybody write, I'm going to get in Math 103 a 1.0. But yet at the end of the semester, midterm, when I'm doing midterm eval, I'm seeing like 1.0s, 1.5s. Zeros. I got to know people come in 18, 25. Zeros. I'm like, I don't remember nobody putting zero down. And I would go door to door. I have my kids on one side of the street. I would be on the other. And I'd, I'd knock on doors. Hello, my name is Les Brown. Tell everybody I'm still standing. They get on the phone. Child Les Brown was to my house today. You know the boy on the radio with the big mouth? Yeah, they found him, honey. Say, so he's still standing. See, I'm saying just, just keep moving. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself. Don't spend time blaming and talking about what happened to you. See, whatever you talk about, that's what you multiply and expand in your life experience. So don't talk about stuff unless you want to keep on happening to you, all right? So I got in that kind of action. If I continue to do that, had my children with me, were going door to door, didn't have enough money. Eventually, we got close to the election and something happened that really surprised me. Guys who I thought were going to either support me or stay out of it, various powerful community leaders, they became involved in it and they endorsed my opponent. I felt devastated. Now that's going to happen to you when you're working on your dream. Things are going to happen that's going to catch you on the blind side. That was shocking to me. They didn't have to do that. All they had to do was just stay out of it. But here they go, come up in there messing with me. So you need to understand before I talk about this, you need to understand that what I'm about to tell you to do, I did it. I lived it. So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. You hear what I'm saying to you tonight? If you do the three things I tell you to do tonight, I guarantee you whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. Now let's get away from money. I got to get deep with you. Let's get away from money. Nobody in my family has ever really been married. They don't do the married thing, right? You, can you hear what I'm saying? Somebody can attest to that. Raise your hand. If your family don't do the married thing, raise your hand. People in your family, they don't do the married thing. Now watch this. I've been married happily for 14 years, and I've been married for 16. Right? So I only had two rough years. But in order to get to 16, let me tell you something. My marriage is so, man, I'm telling you, it's so butter tight. I was, see, I might not, they might not be mature for this or not. But last night, I was, me and my wife were slow dancing about 8 o'clock at night to Luther. That's where my relationship is. It's the middle of the day. Now that's going to happen. You've got some people who believe it's their personal business to stop you from living your dream, all right? But I didn't deal with that. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. And so I was driving to the radio station. My opponent had over $20,000. I had less than $800. As I was in the radio station, the guy said, you're going to make a commercial? I said, yes. He said, it better be a good one because that money can't go pretty far here. And I sat there in the middle control room and I was thinking, and here's what happens when you get still.